Thank you for joining us this morning, Caroline. I mean, it is some quite shocking, um, some of the uh, uh, reports that J.K. Rowling has put forward about death threats. I think she said that um, she could paint her entire house with the death and yeah. rape threats that she receives. I mean, why is this being tolerated, that people are facing threats and intimidation for holding what is actually quite a mainstream view about gender and sex? It's a very good point, Mercy. And I think it's, it's actually a very small group of uh, activists on social media but they, what we have to remember is that um, we've got institutions like the police force and the local education authorities captured by this gender ideology. So like Graham Linehan, you know, I too have had death threats. I've had rape threats. I had an entire blog set up. It was a hate blog, We Hate Caroline Farrow. It ran for six months. There were death threats. There were rape threats. There were threats of acid attacks against my children. My husband was outed. His face well, not, I say out of jail, his, his mobile phone was published. Um, our whole family was targeted. Um, I was also targeted by the same two activists who uh, targeted Graham Linehan, um, Dr. Adrian Harrop, who has faced sanction from the General Medical Council now for his deplorable behavior. And also Stephanie Hayden, who has sued, I think around 30 people over the last five years uh, for the same thing, for harassment, for misgendering. Um, and I think it's, it's literally that people, see the transgender issue and they think, gosh, you can't be mean and you can't be nasty. I mean, I, I get a, a very small taste of, of what JK Rowling receives simply because I have fewer followers than her. But, but Joanne uh, tweeted me a couple of weeks ago just to say big love, Caroline. And uh, Pink News, who have smeared Graham Linehan repeatedly, uh, ran another hate article against me. And, and I think it, it's literally that institutions just can't see beyond this, you know, transgender, you know, that we're being transphobic, that we're being unkind uh, to, to transgender people. And in fact, the police, in response to this hate blog that, that was set up against me and, and threatened my entire family, just said to me, Caroline, please, can you stop talking about transgender issues on Twitter? You know, there's absolutely um, no balance.